welcome 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 this is a continuation of my previous video answering questions that you've asked me stay tuned and enjoy hello i'm here to answer all your questions i put out a poll on instagram and on my whatsapp status to ask people to ask me questions and some of my friends sent some questions and i'm going to be answering them in this video so stay tuned <laughs> There's another question here. For you, what's the basic key to success? For me. <laughs> oh my god. Success. <laughs> you wait me. Oh. Okay, so the answer I would say is consistency. Consistency honestly trumps talent. It trumps intelligence. If you are going to be consistent. So consistency. It's just it. You just have to be consistent and allow yourself time to improve. Okay, so you're consistently improving. It does not have to be improving every day, but just every time review what you have done. Okay, it's time to improve, it's time to step up, that kind of thing. So I'll take consistency and improvement alongside. What advice will you give someone just starting a business? Awesome. The good thing is that you are just starting so i would say congratulations <laughs> i would say that you have to know the price to pay for what you want you have to know it clearly what is required of me to make x amount of money or what is required of me to stay sustainable in business and you have to be willing to pay that price or you quit before you start that's just it that's just it so you don't stress yourself going round the clock you know what is required of you and know if you have the capacity to to do it and then you decide whether to go ahead or not there's a quote i'm trying to remember it goes like this know the price know if you're willing to pay the price and then pay the price so the next one is relationship how long should talking stage be before a relationship <laughs> <laughs> the way you people think that I am a pro at this stage, it baffles me. It baffles me, but I guess you're just asking for my opinion. So for relationship, I'll first of all say that talking stage, right? It's supposed to be getting to know the person and to know, okay, would I date this person? Would I want to be in a relationship with this person? Okay, so I guess that's what talking stage is. Um, with that understanding, I'm going to say that talking stage should be as long as it needs to be. Okay, some people, you know, go through the talking stage and eventually figure it out by themselves that, okay, I really like this person, this person is feeling me as well, and they just transition without actual definition that, okay, this is a relationship, let's do it. I would say, very few people are like that but with the way everything is going on now <laughs> you have to ask so that you are not in your own head okay so i would say the talking stage should be i would say the talking stage should be just enough for you to decide do i want to be do i want to date this person that's all that's all for me the next one is do you believe everyone can become an entrepreneur hey no 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 not everyone can become an entrepreneur not everyone please 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 it's so stressful putting people under that much pressure it's a lot of stress a lot of people function better within a system than outside the system where they are thinking out of the box okay or whatever a lot of people just function better within a system either they are actual staff or they are you know marketing partners of an existing system or product or you know affiliates like just any way you define system a lot of people function better inside of one while some people they just cannot deal with not being in control of their own system so they create their own and they try to solve a problem with theirs okay so knowing that you might fall in or out of this sector makes life easy for you okay so the whole rise of entrepreneurship thing that is happening right now it's normal you know in our parents age 
it was everybody just had a job they went to school read something came out of school and actually practice what they read but now people go to school read whatever they can read probably they are still trying to figure out their lives okay while they are in school and when they co come out of school they have a different direction and they go with that direction do not feel any type of pressure to be an entrepreneur people still have side also businesses small you know while they are in their jobs what i would say to people like that is that you should know your limitations so that you don't put yourself under pressure trying to do 10 million a monthly in sales you know know your limits if your limit is 200k 500k monthly profit or whatever why you go to work every day stick to it and be comfortable there okay if you're doing it for extra income or is a passion project for you okay so that's fine i just feel people should not be under any pressure to be an entrepreneur okay if you're not subscribed to my channel how will you see the second part of this video next week tell me how okay and also subscribing to my channel literally helps my dream come true of growing a successful you know youtube brand okay see you next week bye for now